take pictures, doing a reading, especially the slideshow. Uh, there's an awful lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> don't normally have huge stage fright, but there's an awful lot of you. <laughs> so, don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you guys were here last year, you know that there were there were a few uh, disasters. Um, my partner in crime ended up getting really sick and going to the hospital for the entire weekend. <laughs> and I winged the entire panel. Um, she's okay. Everything's fine. She just has to stop using blue for her cosplays. <laughs> she's good. Um, but uh, I also, again, have bad news. Bad news for the same thing No. Oh, God. <laughs> Remember last year that big announcement I had that I surprised you with when you walked through the door? No, I wasn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Oh. You know, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it. Okay, last year when you guys all came here, I said, in the summer of 2013, we're going to have a brand new anime. <laughs> Yes. Which, which could potentially still be 2014. Yeah. So we have between November of this year and January of 2014, and that's what they're giving us now, but we don't have a page, so... <laughs> as long as I'm expecting 2020. Um, so I just want to say I, I, I've had some issues in past panels. If, um, if you guys have comments, please raise your hand, because I've had big ceiling panels before, but there's way more of you here. <laughs> so uh, if you have a question or a comment, raise your hand, because then everybody's talking over everybody. And I only have an hour and an hour. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to break up my water. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I already told you. <laughs> this one I can actually tell you is going to happen. So um, we're actually a month away from this. It was uh, a new Sailor Moon musical. It's going to happen in Japan. And it's an all-female cast. Always. No older than men. Okay, so all female cast. It's going to start September 13th. And then go to like the 20th. Yeah, 23rd. Oh, it's right there. Look at the calendar. So, look, you have a full calendar and the date. And the time. In case you, yeah, you want to find a mysterious ticket and fly to Japan and just go to a show. That's all there. This picture here in the corner is from a recent event that happened Thursday? No, yesterday was the fourth. The fourth. The fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Basically, they announced that this is going to be. Uh, of the Dark Kingdom, so it's going to be reimagining that. Um, so you're going to have basically first season characters and all that kind of fun stuff. And I am the worst person to talk about the musicals because I promised last year I'd watch all 29 of them. Not even one. I'm sorry. Is there a poly? Five? Five. But is, what is there like 29 different performances of like actors and stuff? There's five different scripts. They're just, uh, they're long and it's hard to get through them. Like they're good, yeah. but it's, yeah. they have five story arcs. They're hard to get through. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that's yours. A taste of Adam's body, it is my goal. <laughs> so, <laughs> next. <laughs> so, if you're a Sailor Moon fan and like, I don't even know if you have to be hardcore to be excited for this. 
Um, we're going to eat our, I'm going to get my plate with this later, our first completely posable Sailor Moon figure. Um, so she's going to come with six extra faces. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I got it for her. 
longer than really long. It did. So that could boost their chances, but that is in North America, and they're looking at, they're not, they're not really looking at Quidditch's mega sales here. Yeah, that's true. But the figures, too, one thing that watch out for is they're small. Yeah, they're 14 centimeters tall. Which so don't expect a giant box. Yeah, no. Well, there's figure arts, and figure arts uh, out in the vendors' hall. Yeah. Most of what I've seen is official, so you can kind of base off of what those are. Like mine is. Yeah, they're not bad. They're, they're, honestly, when you want to buy ten of them and you stick them in your display case, oh, they're great sizes. But yeah. if you've never had one before, it's kind of surprising because they look big in the pictures. Do you think there's a chance they'll ever do the villains? Okay, um, here's the thing is Bandai uh, and the Figure Arts line, they do villains every once in a while, and I'm really hoping we'll get some. I have no idea if we will, because when you, here's the thing with Sailor Moon is we have five seasons, um, and we'll That's a lot of villains. Six, <laughs> six arcs. Even when it comes to six anime arcs. Yeah. Oh, bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would really like to see them, um, but what I'd like to see more are the starlights. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, but Sailor Moon needs somebody to fight. And um, we can't be 20 something, 30 something year old adults playing with our toys. We don't have a We can't. Why not? <laughs> you should say that to I not. I'm fine. I admit it. I'm totally in the ears. And I love setting people up at the weirdest things and having fun. But there's never any bad guys to fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just brief like no I'm actually thinking about. Uh, I see her one of the box picture pictures. There's a reflection on it that makes it look like Super Sailor Moon, and I was like. Oh. <laughs> okay. Aww, that's now awesome. I don't know what the paint looks like. Yeah. Any questions about these before I move on? <coughs> yeah. Uh, what season are they from? These, well, I guess you would say season one, but if they go outers, then that would be uh, S. So it's kind of a mix. It's, it's, so it'll just be the base uniforms? Uh, well, the outers, I would assume, the first appearance. Yeah. And I think in the first appearance, they don't actually have the... Uh, they, they don't, don't have, have the three bowls. I know it's not the... Uranus and Neptune has... And yeah, Pluto yeah, and Saturn, though. Saturn, Saturn, Saturn has her funky thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and then Uranus is one of Is it in S that they don't have the white stripes on their color? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So there are some differences that can change what season it's from, but I think they'll kind of go in first appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that thing I showed you in that kit, this oh. is not a posable figurine. This is a scale oh. model. <coughs> and it's uh, by Volks and Bandai together. And we actually see this at Wonderfest at the same time as the group um, and the Venus and <coughs> so price for these I'm hearing is anywhere between like 38 to 50 something. I'm thinking because it's Sailor Moon they're going to jack it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. that yeah, <laughs> unfortunately that's the way with things that are popular. Um, I'm actually really liking this figure and they've kind of it's, it's stylized, so I'm assuming they had an artist with a certain style and they said go for it instead of just copying the anime style. Um, a lot of people are having trouble with the hair and the, the drill curls on the end. But what I really want to point out to you for the laugh is her buns. <laughs> yeah. There's no Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, somebody pointed it out though, they're awfully big. <laughs> but uh, another thing I want to point out is the face, the moon. Absolutely. Um, whether or not we're going to see more characters, 
I'm going to say yes, just because the popularity and the, really at the rate that Bandai is spitting up merchandise, you guys have no idea. I don't think I have enough time to cover it. Um, there's no announcements, so I mean, we don't even have this painted. So we'll see. Oh. Legend Studios is completely new to figurines. They have nothing released for Sailor Moon other than I think some uh, some one piece prototypes that aren't even on the market yet. Um, they mainly, from what I can tell, dealt with um, displays and basically just jumping into the market. They have they don't even have a website. All they have is a Facebook page. Wow. Yeah. Um, really? I didn't know that. I didn't have a website. It's it's terrible. It's hard finding information for these because when uh, the picture of what they were making was released, I mean Legend Studios who? <laughs> yeah. People were like Legend Studios, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our first look at Sailor Moon, and I think it's a pretty damn good start for them, Fine. considering um, they're going with the S line season. So you're going to see weapons and uh, her uniform is going to match the season. Excuse me, the color. And I guess you can tell from this that they're going to be different face plates, different pieces for her hair, her bangs. Is that a posable elbow in the light picture? Yeah, it looks like Yeah, oh yeah, she's posable. She's completely posable like the figure work plan I just showed you. I don't know if... Uh, if there are any limitations compared to the figure arts or what, but because they're brand new. But I guess we'll, we'll see from when they're released. This will be their big test. Um, I think the thing with these guys is if, um, uh, if fans don't really get behind it, it's going to knock out the rest of the characters. We won't see them. Because if Sailor Moon kind of bombs because everybody's going after the figure arts, well, I mean, they're not going to have the money. It's not going to be worth their time, right? So I'm really hoping that these do well because they're looking very fun. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm really, okay, I'm excited about all of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what you're looking on, at on the left are, uh, it's a, a compact, makeup compact, like face powder. Bandai announced these about two months ago? Uh, yeah, and actually and the bottom left picture is the original toy locket in comparison to the new makeup one. It's actually really? not the makeup one, but the chain, there's no chain on the makeup one. Thank God. Yeah. I actually have a friend pointed that out to me. What I, what I heard was that they were using the exact same gold. No, no, they're showing the differences in that picture. Perfect. There's something new every day. Yeah. Mm. That makes me happy. So, Basically what you're looking at is uh, the powder is under a white and clear cover. So that little cover with the ribbon on it is going to come out and your pink powder will be underneath. Mirror on the top and your little puff pad. Um, these are actually, I was surprised, these were pretty reasonably priced. They were $45 on the Bandai website. Mm -hmm. And that was the end of reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> that, was like, that was like, sucker them in. Now get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> that, was like, that was like, maybe this will sell. Oh, it's sold like crap. Let's jack it. <laughs> that was pretty much it. This compact alone crashed their site, what, three times? Yeah. It's only officially sold on the Bandai website in Japan, and we can't order from it internationally. No, the only people who can order from it are in Japan because they only ship to Japan address. Oh. So did you want this compact, which is really yeah. hard to get right now? Oh, 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 and the best part is, is if you want to use a proxy service, they're limited to two orders per household. So when your proxy goes there and they order two, that's all they're allowed to get. So when they post it on their site, it's gone like that. There's no more. So, so people have been having a really fun time trying to get these. Um, if you go on eBay, do not, no, do, do not, not do, do not, not, I'm begging you, do not bid on any of them, because chances are you're never going to get it. And uh, Pixel Mary's been posting them for so. sale. Yeah, what's your name? Terry? Terry Terry something. Terry Terry, a number? Yeah. And she's in like Pennsylvania. She yeah. keeps posting them on eBay, she's selling them um, at bidding amounts of like $200. 
And she is a well-known scammer. She's never going to sell these things. She's never going to sell them. She didn't even mark them as pre-orders. Yeah. 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 So uh, learn from somebody else's $200 mistake and do not go on eBay and bet on these things. Uh, at least not until they're officially released, then we can at least say that, yeah, maybe somebody in Japan has them. And I would really only bid on something or buy something from a Japan user. I, I don't know if I trust anybody in North America with ordering these. Um, because yeah. really, if they're going for 200 bucks on eBay right now when they're released, I'm sorry, but it's going all crazy. And we started off at 45 bucks. Plus shipping. Yeah, plus shipping, but um, for the, I ordered a few of them. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, crap, how did you manage that? I am acting this. You're the job. I managed to say one. Yeah, I got five. Um, these are uh, based on the star ones. Um, sorry? And they're all the alcohol. Right, right. There's always a trick, or there's always a problem with everything. These are the same same idea, like you sold on the Bandai website, you can only buy two, you can't get them anywhere else in Japan. Uh, even better, if you buy them from a store, they can't ship them to you because the alcohol content can't ship through the mail to North America. Yeah. 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 Is it yeah. too high? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's like a combustible issue or what it is, but they won't actually wow. accept it in Canada. So you or U.S., but I think Canada is pretty much the best. <coughs> yes, customs is going to kick ass. No, if we don't care. That's but fine. if you can get it from a private user and eBay, well, it's going to be Well, technically, um, you can get the uh, the makeup stuff, but that stuff, you're in that No, the nail polish is going to be. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. With customs, Unless you have a friend who lives in Japan that will mail it for you. And if, they just pretend pretend it's not if you don't care about the nail polish, like there's some guys here. <laughs> I'm not saying you don't paint nails, but um, if you don't care about the nail polish and you manage to get one of these from a friend or somebody in Japan or whatever, I guess you, if you want to avoid customs, request that they dump the nail polish. And then just know what you're telling. Yes, dump the nail polish. Then you can get it through and nobody's going to care because the alcohol issue is there. Uh, what if you split it up into like multiple packages with You know <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't think it's, oh my God. the problem is when it comes to customs it sets off the chemical sensor. Oh. So they're gonna work it open anyway. Oh. Okay. Oh. I guess so I guess they have some magical sensor. And you just like <laughs> they, it, 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 oh. it sense that would make bombs and the uh, oh, that but the very alcohol sets it off that too makes because sense. of <laughs> that makes better sense because I figured maybe one well, now you'll sneak one in here or there, but if, if they have a sensor that actually yeah, yeah, that, that. I'm, I'm sorry. You're like, gonna have to dump the nail polish and make it up when you get here. <laughs> 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 Maybe you can get it through the if you're not if you're really kind of like a desperado and you kind of want to really get a hold of it, I, I believe this way you can actually through Canada at least you can get temporarily actually get like a, a liquor license, like a license to bring it to us. Because no, you can seriously. No, seriously, and then and then no, but then see, I know it sounds ridiculous for nail polish, right? But, but, but no, you know, I had something, I something important, right? And so, and so you know, and seriously, you probably could. It would probably work the same. <laughs> well, as I said, I had, had socket right? So I like how we're coming up with ideas. Yeah, exactly. Right? You gotta think. Gotta be thinking. We're working together. Give up. Give up your hopes and dreams right now. <laughs> there is not a single thing on the screen that is under one hundred and twenty dollars. Oh. Oh. and it's coated, it's plated in uh, gold or silver. And uh, basically, through discussions that I've had with somebody who makes jewelry, and 
and uh, experience in manufacturing. We figured out that these probably cost about 30 bucks each to make. It's not even. That's that's a uh, a personal like if I went out and I wanted to make it and I had the talent to make something this pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it would cost me about 30-ish, maybe a little more. Um, at mass produced levels, uh, some most of this is actually produced in China, of course. Made in China. Uh, it's going to cost way less. So we're figuring band knives making about 80 bucks a pop on each of these, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Um, plus, it's just people are assuming that it's solid gold, and I don't know why, because nothing you buy is solid gold or solid silver. Absolutely nothing. Um, but I'm thinking that what we're going to see is that uh, your wand and maybe the wings on the rings are going to chip and break off. Because it's epoxy, it's just plastic. Uh, I thought it was silver underneath. It's, it's yeah, yeah, it's, it's metal. metal. It's nickel underneath. Um, I thought it was a cheaper well, sort of silver. It's plated. It's plated. It's plated, but because of millimeters. Yeah, it's very poorly. It's poor metal, and then yeah. it's nice metal plated on top of it. Okay. But e epoxy is the base. Yeah. Okay. Basically. Oh, okay. So, and then it's coated, and then it's coated. Or in Japanese sizes, too, so they would never Yes, do that. that's another thing. Uh, if you can manage to get yeah. rings, which are, what are the rings retailing for? Like over 200 dollars they, uh, yeah, by uh, they should be, by some they should be, you're almost in real. Yeah, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. Like I said, just hopes and dreams are gone. <laughs> <laughs> These are expensive. Um, but I just, I really don't like how Bandai, I guess, well, if you're Japanese and you can read the website, it's fine and clear, but if you're international and you're using the website, you're looking at the pretty pictures and trying to figure it out, or using Google Translate, uh, sometimes you just, there's things you don't notice or there's things you don't know. So I would rather you guys know what um, it's made out of, and it's not really worth 150 bucks. But you want to buy, go for it. You're just not going to find it under 200. <laughs> I love this. they use the time key moment It looks like they did. It looks like they did. It does. But it should. Yeah. It's done accurately. Yeah. T-shirt. I don't Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Directly from Bandai, which we can't do because we're international. Um, They're 79, 79, 99. And they'll be in Japanese size too. I don't think they can make it like that. Oh my god. So funny, Henry! Right here, the picture. Guys, I love you. I still have 40 minutes, but it's not that much. Um, so right here, uh, I have iPhone pictures, but all of these designs are available in different smartphone cases. Uh, mainly the most popular ones, so like uh, the uh, Sony Xperia, uh, Xperia? Uh, one of the phones. Samsung <laughs> phones out there. Nobody knows Sony. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Galaxy phones. Uh, I think there's a Motorola one. Um, I figured out there's like 60 variations and that is why I didn't upload to the database on my computer. That would take a while. Yeah. These are pretty reasonable. They're like 20 bucks from the website. So if you're getting them through a proxy service, it's really about the same as buying a regular cell phone. <coughs> Can, uh, cover on another website after shipping. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I bought mine from Jaylist and it was actually $55. Um, but that was before Bandai lowered the price and Jaylist was probably $23. Nice! Price. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Uh, and the other items besides, <coughs> besides the cases are uh, a sticker for the iPhone 5 and then 
4.8 inch screen privacy uh, privacy screen. So basically what it means is if you're looking at your phone, you can see it, but if somebody is to the side, they're gonna see uh, the Sailor Moon pattern or like, depending on your shape, it's gonna be designed for your stickers. Um, these have already been released. I just got mine a few weeks ago. The big issue with these is that they're limited edition and now they're already out of print. <laughs> so if you can find them online, I know CD Japan still has some stuff. Um, other places have ordered from them um, and are selling them a little bit higher. Uh, but they're pretty reasonable. I ordered um, with no case, like just the, the five items on the side for about 20 bucks plus shipping. It wasn't that bad. Um, the Deco Meta, they're basically metal stickers for your phone. They're really fancy, little designs, like they're tiny, good enough for your phone, laptop, whatever. But uh, I think the metal makes them really nice, really high quality, and they're going to hopefully last. I've never tried them before. Any of you ever bought one and tried them? Mm -hmm. I have the Decepticon one, for example. Like in the Autobot one? That's yeah, pretty metal. It is. Really yeah, it's a metal one. They're larger though than the keyboard. But they're the nice high quality. I think maybe they scratch, but they're not bold or anything. So. <laughs> and if uh, uh, I'm gonna try and talk about some of this stuff, but if at the end you want to come up and take a look while I'm packing up, and whatever, feel free. Just try not to touch it because I don't like things being stolen. <laughs> and you guys were good last time, but you never know. And some of you haven't been to my panel before. <laughs> Guess what? I love these. <laughs> uh, these are stupidly reasonably priced, and you don't have to buy them on the Bandai website. In fact, I don't think they're even listed on the Bandai website. Basically, if you can't tell what this crazy looking thing is on the side, it's one of those um, gash bomb machines. So you put your little knee in and you twist it, or is it a two knee now? I'm aging myself. <laughs> um, but your little ball drops out and you have your toy. That's basically what these are going to be, except if you order them online, uh, depending on where you order them and how nice the company is, you'll be able to get a full set. Or they'll send you random ones and be super jerks. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm going to say it wrong. Is it H J List? H J List. It's H something. Are you thinking of H L J Hobby League Japan? Maybe Hobby League. Did they sell? Yeah, Hobby League. Okay, they yeah. sell things, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hobby League Japan. I have heard are being complete total asses about these, and they're not going to give you a full set they're if you buy one. They're selling, they're going to give you randoms because it sounds like. It. <coughs> they're not guaranteeing it, but I don't think they're saying for sure they will. No, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing they're bad for it. Mm. But for other series, that it's an issue that they send them out. And if they're in blind boxes, like I, I think we're getting, if you buy these online, they're coming in boxes. Mm -hmm, but if are. you go to the machines, you're going to get them in that little ball. So what I'm hearing is that. I ordered from Hobby Links, I'll let you know. Yeah, I mean, well, I'll hold for who that's in. I ordered. <coughs> I ordered through whatever that main website was with the, uh, with the proxy, and, but they're really reasonable. I ordered two sets, and that was only twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars with the proxy service, with two sets, and shipping. Wait, what How much was this? Um, Link has them. Uh, CD Japan, maybe? No, CD Japan is they never listed. <coughs> I got mine on J list. Go to, Hobby, go to Hobby Link, look them up, and if you're not happy with the prices and what they're advertising, um, search for them and see if you can find them somewhere else. Okay. Because um, I can't remember off the top of my head what they're called or what you would want to search for. They were listed just swingers. swingers. Yeah, swingers. The style uh, with the, the ball chain is called a swinger. So they listed them just swingers. That's like the it's, title. It's because they're chitty. Yeah, I know. So I know but <laughs> Such a hard title. <laughs> <laughs> These are really nice, though. If you have a they're the company that is making all of the new Sailor Moon merchandise and packaging like this. 
So uh, they're North American based. They're in LA, no Anaheim. They're in Anaheim. And uh, this is their first figurine ever. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. Uh, this is with feedback from the fans on Facebook and Twitter and Twitter, and they made it worse. <laughs> Unfortunately, this began selling at the beginning of this week. Um, the good news is, this is a photograph, <laughs> and the real thing might be better. You pre order? Tacky. Oh, Tacky? How much did she, do you know how much she paid? I don't know. I hope she didn't pre order it from the circle range. Yeah, that's what she usually gets it, like, they thought, like, they don't see it from, like, big order graphics. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
student know about it. And pictures of my own collection, both artistic and just for you guys to see what that item is and whether it's something you'd like to own or maybe it's just something you want to look at. <coughs> and my deviant art because I'm in the Arts Valley and you come by my sale and win stuff. If you really want to talk and know about Sailor Moon all the time, if you go on Facebook and search Edmonton Sailor Moon fans, I have a group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not obsessed, I promise. Dedicated. Yes. <laughs> Good word. <laughs> oh, credits. Credits are important. It gets me into so much trouble. Um, so for the musical, the first link, that's the official website. You can go there and find pictures of all of the currently announced cast uh, and information in Japanese, which most of us probably can't read. <laughs> but some of it is translated to people. That's why I said so little. Um, so you are photo, that is uh, the official website for the figurines. Any news uh, about those are going to be released there. Right now is a good time to keep track of them because we're doing a photo contest with the new Sailor Moon figure. Since it's being released tomorrow, um, we can't really take part in it because most of us are going to get our figurines in September just because it has to ship from Japan to here and then to us and all that kind of Um Legend Studios were from a, a website. I don't know it. It was just there. I'm sorry. Bandai website where you can find all of the items that you love and adore but cannot buy. <laughs> <laughs> and GE Animation. If you go to GE Animation's website, it's kind of confusing at first. There's a link underneath their login box and you want to click on that and go to Sailor Moon and you can look through their entire um, products catalog. And they do merchandise for a lot of other things so it's a good chance for you guys to go in there and find what your favorite Company you think for today. Just a comment about you can't actually order from them no. unless you're Yeah, yeah. you have to have a wholesale number to order from them okay. here or Yeah, in Canada. Oh, okay. You have to jump all mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And there's minimum orders. Yeah, yeah. There, you have to have a minimum hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. If you want to order um, GE merchandise, the best places I've found to order it, I guess, would be Crunchyroll, uh, Right Stuff with one F. Dot com. Um, mm -hmm. Red, I find their shipping is kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. um, hot topic has some, but they're shipping. Yeah, hot topic. If you fly down, it might be cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um,
please tell me Sue Mercury has that picture? Yeah, oh yeah, it's right on there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is Jupiter. Oh, oh, oh it's not that bad until you look at her face and her hair. <laughs> <laughs> No Venus. No Venus. Venus? Mars. No. Yes, Mars. You're right. 
<laughs> I was there, I swear. <laughs> and, and, and green. So I love sugar. Sugar is so sweet. I think I pissed you off, though. She hates me. I came for the autograph, but I was like, I'm here. Do you autograph this? And she was like, <laughs> So, I have an unopened pink sugar one. There's an autograph of sugar. Sugar is so cute. I'm sorry, but it's unbearable. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Is, that, is that a sugary liver or a different voice on there? Uh, that would have been sugar. Um, her name is Stephanie Lynn Beard. Oh, is that what you just uh, yeah, she played. She was also on uh, YTV on the Zone. Oh, oh that was her. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 It is a short story. It is a short story. 
actually quite large. But so anyway, so <laughs> 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 Moon, with this, Princess Sailor Moon, could kick anybody's ass and blow up the entire planet. Put that out there. That comes from the explosions behind her? Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. super, super badass in PGSF. She's much, much, much. Okay, I'll turn it off now because you're never going to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have 10 minutes, so I'm going to go kind of fast. Um, Chibi Moon's Twinkle Bell. It's just kind of a plastic cheap version of it, but um, I think these are retailing, or not retailing, uh, it would be on like eBay second hand use for like what? Yeah, they're stupid expensive. I was going to buy one, but <coughs> I know I just like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at finding good deals. Um, these I showed you earlier. These are uh, full cast figurines, and actually, I can't even really find anything else that this company does other than car products, like <laughs> model cars and displays. It's weird. I don't know if they're two different companies and one went under, but they made um, Amy, Hutaru, um, Makoto and Chibiusa. I don't know why her name escapes me for a second there. But they're really cute, they're really high quality. Um, they're kind of easy to break. Amy's foot is permanently broken. Aww, that's awesome. How could you? It's kind of hard to fight like that. Um, but they're really cute, but they're kind of expensive. <laughs> they're around 100 bucks each, 90 ish, 100. Sometimes a little bit more, depending on the crazy people on eBay. <laughs> this is a really, really, really rare garage kit. At least it was until a company called E2046 got their hands on it. There are websites that recast garage kits. So garage kits are like figurines that you paint yourself, or you can commission someone to paint, whatever. And uh, this one I painted myself. Um, but basically, before they got their hands on it, and I don't even know how, um, you couldn't find it, or if you did, it was a crazy high expensive. Um, I can't even say I've ever seen one. No, they're so, the same, there's so many. Same with the Neo Queen's Ready one. There is a Neo Queen's yeah. Ready official garage kit. But Have you ever seen it? No. no. <laughs> and it's like cheap garage kits for sale when they were 200 bucks. Official. <coughs> this is special. Uh, the Star Locket, if you remember it. I hope you do, you're here. Who has the mic on? Play slow or fast. I play slow today, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to get mine because it's a little scratched up and dented. Uh, really cheap, like 120 bucks. Thank <laughs> 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 you. You don't even want to know. Um, the last time I seen a Star Locket sell on eBay was 500. I saw one go for over a thousand. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. I saw one say they were Like box in the box. Yeah, yeah. It was silver though. That's why. No, the pink one sold for like almost yeah. three thousand. Yeah. yeah. Nobody knows what the hell is going on, but there's a pink version of this locket, and it's I guess it's rare because it sells for what it does. But when it goes on eBay, um, it sells for over three thousand dollars. And nobody knows if it's somebody putting up this auction and buying it themselves and just scamming the sale of the community. Um, but it's there and it happens every, like maybe twice a year. Maybe. One of the last one I saw was on Yahoo Japan. Yahoo Japan? It was on Yahoo Japan. Oh, okay, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy. Like it's it's a small kids toy and it's just, the only difference between that and the pink one is the color. Yeah. It plays the same music. It's the same. same. And it's even in the same box. Yeah. It's rare. I feel like I'd like it. I feel like I had a chance to get the Holy Grail as the pen. Live action from Luna. I dropped the video. She's adorable, and I love her, and I just got her this. Watch the live action. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pre-prepared for Luna to be a totally different character, not <laughs> even not in all the things. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 um, that's what Yeah, also two different people. Just put that up. Some GE merchandise. Um, and this is actually a really cool fan. I found this from Sailor Moon Channel, basically the main website, and they released 
merchandise with under the same name, but it has uh, information on the back about the musicals from 2002. Three. But I thought it was kind of neat and interesting. Um, I don't think you guys will have enough time to look through this. We only have a couple minutes left, but I collect a lot of uh, stationery and pencil boards and advertisements. These are the advertisements from the machine for the gas mine. So that kind of stuff. Um, the stuff that I put over here uh, is actually kind of weird. Um, the cloth flag is, I don't even know what it's from. It's just a kind of promotional thing. Yeah, I have no idea where that's from. I don't know either, but it's official. It's like covered in Van Presto everywhere. It's like five, it's kind of five times. Pictured it being like a market. Up in a market store, and they had dinner soup. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's like they had a big display of merchandise yeah. or there. I don't know. Or maybe a festival event. Maybe yeah, a, I could see that. I don't know. Uh, and the other thing is the helium, like one of those helium balloons you get at uh, like Safeway. <laughs> kind of neat. Different pictures on each side. There's a uh, the string has a card on it, and each one has a different character on it. Hmm. And this is my favorite. This is my best find ever. <laughs> She's missing the high But when when I tell you, you, you won't care and you're gonna be like, oh crap. Um so the last one of these I've seen on eBay, maybe it was a small one. They went It was a small one, thirty. Yeah, they're, they're ones that are this big. Yeah, like half the size of this, maybe a foot shorter. Um Mine is almost three feet tall, and I got her uh, at Value Village for ten dollars. <laughs> After a really bad week, <laughs> and she's my new buddy for her loan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I should end there because the panel is over in two minutes, and I can't believe I talked for an hour and a half. But stay with her. Or something so I can tell other people about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, come, I'll come by when you're in the hotel tomorrow. Sure, sure. Um,